Hello and welcome once again, Rodel Messina Lumbang of RML Enterprises, Furniture, Appliances, Home Decor, and Interior Decorating. And now, we are in our episode 2 for our Throwback Thursday, RML Enterprises Throwback Thursday. Ito yung mga naging projects na natin for the past 10 years na somehow naging favorite ko or uh, nagandahan ako ng masyado or something like that. Kaya gusto kong ipakita sa inyo. It was, I think, three years ago uh, when I met this good client. Turns to be my best friend now. She is Wela Cruz. Wela Cruz of Wela Tracking in San Antonio, Nueva Ecija. Uh, nung pinapagawa niya yung bahay nila, uh, lagi siya pumupunta from San Antonio, Nueva Ecija to SM Pampanga. Wala pang SM na sa Nueva Ecija. And to Wilcon kasi nga nagpapagawa sila ng bahay. I think that was 3 years ago. And nakadaan siya all the way to uh, Wilcon, nakita na niya yung mga designs natin. Nakita niya yung mga nakadisplay sa ating showroom. By the way, our showroom is along the highway. Kung galing ka ng Nueva Ecija, syempre dadaan ka ng Araya, Santa Ana, Santo Domingo, Mexico, and madadaanan mo yung San Pablo, Mexico bago ka makarating ng Mexico proper. So, bumaba siya, then tumingin-tingin siya ng mga items, tumingin siya ng dining, sala set, kama, and then syempre, machika naman tayo, di ba? So, chinika-chika ko siya, and then she invited me to come over sa kanilang bahay in San Antonio, Nueva Ecija. So, nagpunta tayo doon, and then uh, uh, I met her husband, namit ko yung tatlo niyang anak, lahat mga bait, and then Ginawa ko yung bahay nila. Pero hindi pa yun ang i-feature natin ngayon. Ginawa ko yung bahay nila. In-interior ko yun. Cartin, sala set, lahat-lahat. And then, nagpagawa din siya ng, I, I think, uh, andun na yun, yung resort niya, yung Velas Resort. Located din yun sa San Antonio, Nueva Ecija. And then, it, it, she used to tell me story na meron akong resort, pasyal ka doon, ah, uh, Resort turns to function hall. Then, sabi niya, may function hall ako. Magpapagawa ko ng function hall. She used to invite me kapag may mga question sila sa uh, San Antonio. Kapag birthday niya, birthday ng anak niya, birthday ng asawa niya, gano'n, gano'n, gano'n. So, nung matapos na yung function hall niya, which is gagamitin niya sa birthday niya, in-invite niya ako doon. So, nakita ko yung... Uh, area ng function hall niya they used to call it Armelia Casa, Al Casa Armelia Casa Armelia is a combination of their name Armando and Vela kaya naging Casa Armelia so nung uh, makita ko yung area okay siya pero parang uh, yung wall niya is uh, firewalling na na nakadikit sa pader yung parang ganun tapos this area is wala din siyang uh, window ang window niya is concentrated lang dun sa harap so okay lang ganun 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 and then I took some picture okay so uh, kamukha ng mga ginagawa natin dati kapag nagbibisita ako ng either bahay actually RML Enterprises is not just limited for uh, house interior decorating may mga na interior na rin tayong offices uh, townhouses resorts function hall even municipalities um, what more yeah basta hindi siya limited sa ano kahit anong gusto nilang pagawa kaya natin so this one is an example of a function hall malaki yung area niya but the problem is the problem that I personally encounter is kulang siya sa windows. Some uh, walls, ayaw ko naman maglagay ng mga frames. Uh, lagi ko sinasabi sa client natin, this is a function hall. So, dapat lahat ng wall is picture perfect. Something like exaggerated curtain. Not that much exaggerated, pero yung curtains na hindi naman natin na nakikita sa mga uh, bahay na pinupuntahan natin. Kasi nga, uh, we're talking of events. Lahat ng tao pumupunta dito, nakadamit maganda, nakapostura, nakagowns, 
So they are always uh, wearing cameras with them. So kapag may camera sila, always looking for a uh, view na uh, mapagkukunan nila ng uh, picture. So I took this pictures para of course para pag-aralan kung anong atake na naman ang gagawin natin so basically ganito siya basically ito yung area natin ganyan siya here is the main door Here's the main door. It's a two door. Malaki yung uh, door niya. And then, may maliit na bintana dito. Dito. Maliit na bintana dito. Dito. I think they have six windows in this area. Dun sa wall na merong entrance door. But the problem is, this is bare. This area. This area, this area, and this area. Yan. This area, this area, this area, and this area. Lahat yan concrete. Dito, pwede maglagay ng cartoon dito. Dito, dito. Dito, dito, dito. Paano? So, in-explain ko sa ating client na kung maglalagay tayo ng cartoon dito, in this area, pagpasok ng... Pagpasok ng visitors, pagpasok ng mga uh, supposedly customer ng customer natin na mag event dito, if we're talking of tables, tables here, tables, tables here, they can put the stage here, they can put the stage here, either of these two area or even here, pwede siya. Pagpasok mo, wala kang makikitang wow effect. Lagi ko sinasabi sa mga client natin, sa bahay, the living room is the focal point ng mga bisita natin. Hindi naman didiretso yan sa kwarto. Hindi naman didiretso yan sa kitchen. So, yung mga uh, bisita natin is, ang una nilang makikita is yung living area. Yung sala natin. It's the same thing with function hall. Ang una nilang makikita pagpasok sa door dito is this wall. Itong wall na to. And, looking at the left side, ito yung makikita nila, this area. And looking at the right side, ito yung makikita nila, which is wala rin siyang window. Pag, tumal pag tumalikod sila, dun muna nila makikita yung mga possible na window treatment na ilalagay natin. So, asan yung wow effect? Wow effect is pag tumalikod muna yung bisita, which is, hindi natin gusto yun. Ang, ang inahabong natin sa lahat ng ating mga interior is pagpasok pa lang ng bisita, pagpasok pa lang ng owner, or pagpasok pa lang ng customer, may wow effect na. Lagi natin iniisip, the first impression, that's. First impression is this one. First impression, first impression. Fading second impression pag tuma tumalikod muna. So it's quite challenging on my part kasi nga, Ah, uh, walang window dito. Walang window dito. And I need to convince my client, Mrs. Vela Cruz, na kailangan ko magkaroon ng treatment dito. At first, yung client ko is hesitant. Paano tayo maglalagay ng window treatment? Chan is wala namang window. In interior decorating, regardless na may window or walang window, Pwede tayo maglagay ng treatment. Pwede tayo maglagay ng party. Pwede tayo maglagay ng any window treatment that fit in the wall. If we're talking of function hall, para sa akin, the best na ilagay this area is only window treatment para magka-balance. May balance dito, may balance dito, magkaka-balance dito. In interior decorating, lagi ko sinasabi na dapat may balance. Okay? So, if we're talking of window treatment here, window treatment here, somehow meron ako window treatment dito. Kasi the focal view natin is this area and this area. 
Okay? Hindi natin pwedeng iwan na ganyan lang yan. Ayaw kong iwan ito na ganyan lang siya. Hindi siya magbumukong function hall. Ayaw din natin ng client. Client natin, oh, of course, uh, sabi niya sa akin, uh, as much as possible, uh, no frames, no decor, of course. I even recommend na wala tayong ilalagay na frames in this area, frames sa mga ganyang area, kasi ma makakuha lang sila ng attention. Attention na me medyo ma makaka uh, liit pa sa space ng function hall natin. This function hall, I don't even recommend a uh, mirror. Kasi nga, medyo malaki naman siya. The only thing that I recommend na talagang pinush ko sa client natin is to put imaginary window. Lagi kong ginagawa yan sa mga interior natin. This is not the first and for sure this is not even the last. Marami ako maipapakit ang mga uh, interior natin na nilagyan natin ng window treatment kahit wala siyang uh, window. Kahit wala siyang uh, bintana. So in this area, kahit dito lang yung Uh, window natin Actually, it's, it's, uh, this one is a standard size As far as I remember This one is around 120 inches Mataas siya ng konti Kesa sa standard size Usually, uh, house Nasa 105 to 108 inches lang yan So, I don't want to put my curtain treatment over here Neither dito The more na binababa mo yung window treatment mo is the more na lumiliit yung area. Yung, uh, on, on this uh, particular project, yung function hall. So, 100% dito ko ilalagay yung window treatment ko. My client wants it in board curtain, which is I highly recommend also. Ayaw ko ng cortina na hindi, uh, ano tawag doon, parang uh, ayaw ko ng cortina na uh, very messy. If we're talking of curtain board, paglagay ng curtain board mo dyan, yun na. Lalagyan mo na lang siya ng body dito. So, on this area, if we are making uh, window treatment from this window, Especially kapag malaki yung area, mag-add ka ng at least 5 inches. 5 inches to 6 inches here. From here, then another 5 to 6 inches here. On this particular project, I think nag-add ako ng 6 inches both sides. Why? Para kapag naglagay tayo ng curtain, hindi makikita yung window. Okay? In this particular project, I put board here. Then, bagsak lang yung ano, bagsak lang yung kortina niya. At ang kortina natin always touching the floor. At least half inch from the floor, safe na tayo doon. Never, never put a hanging kortina. Especially kapag malaki yung area natin. It's a big, big no for me na hanging yung kortina. Yung body kortina. Of course, hindi siya maganda nun. And then, I put inner I use linen curtain here okay so pag ninagin natin ng window treatment wala ka nang makikitang window wala ka nang makikitang window kapag nasa loob ka na ng function hall for sure hindi mo na alam kung anong window yan pwedeng metal window pwedeng wood window something like that so it's the same thing And same principle when I explain to our client na kapag naglagay tayo ng window treatment here and here, hindi naman alam ng tao or hindi naman alam ng mga guests natin if kung may window talaga on back of the curtain treatment. So after a long discussion, uh, my client agreed with me na lalagyan ko siya ng window treatment. So anong ginawa natin? Okay, so meron tayong window treatment here. Ang sinasabi ko nga, di ba? Hindi naman natin alam if kung meron talagang window at the back of this curtain. So after, hindi na ba masyadong matagal na discussion with my client, she agree with me na, okay, Rodel, ikaw nang bahala. Mas alam mo yung ginagawa mo. 
mas alam mo kung ano yung ikagaganda ng aking function hall. Okay? So, ang ginawa natin is naglagay tayo ng window treatment here. Window curtain. Level yan. Kung ano yung laki nito, ganun yung laki nito. This area is the emergency light. So, naunang nailagay yung emergency light, tayo na lang yung mag adjust Okay? This one also is emergency light. So, meron ng emergency light chain. Ako na mag adjust Then, this area also, naglagay din ako ng window treatment And this area, naglagay ako ng window treatment. Siyempre, medyo mas malaki dito kasi nakasunod ito. And then, of course, body carting. Body carting. Body carting. Body carting natin, hindi masyadong makapal, pero hindi rin naman masyadong konti. Okay. Okay? So, basically, ganito ang uh, ginawa nating treatment. I put for around 48 inches curtain board here, 48 inches curtain board here, 48 inches curtain board here, and another 48 inches curtain board here. By the way, this curtain has 124 inches. So, mas malaki siya. As if half of this area. May kinain kasi yung emergency light natin dito. Sa paggawa ng mga curtain board, just for example, there's a window here, there's another window here, there's a big window here, there's another window here. Kunin natin yung size na mag-fit sa apat na window na ganito. So, yung iba, yung window dito, even the size, even the size. Minsan, ang taas nito ganito. Yung isang window, ang taas nito ganito. Yung taas nito, doon na naman. Yung taas nito, is hindi, ganito na naman. Or pwedeng dalawa, di ba? So, kunin mo yung parang uh, common denominator of these four na mag-fit uh, sa window. Then, for example, this one is 42 inches. This one is 40 inches. This one is another 38 inches. And this one is 46 inches. So, para mag-fit lahat iyan, this is just an example. Ha? This is not applicable in this uh, particular interior decorating natin. Just a short lecture lang. Okay? So, 42 inches, 40 inches, 38 inches, and 36 inches. Pasok ba sa 48 inches? Yes. Pasok siya sa, 30, for sa 48 inches. Okay? Yung 6 inches na 6 inches dito, hindi ko na in-apply dito because we have a limited space here. But still, the body curtain is pasok pa rin sa 48 inches. Okay? Medyo sumipag lang tayong mag-lecture. By the way, we will discuss this kind of treatment sa mga uh, susunod pa nating mga interior. Okay? So, ang ginawa natin is uh, window treatment here, window treatment here, window treatment here, treatment here, and on the other side, this area natin... As I've said, concrete-concrete din siya. So, what we did is window treatment here, window treatment here. Yung aircon wala yan. By the way, stage na to. So, kahit wala na siyang treatment dito, magbabalansi pa rin siya. Then, window treatment here. Then, body curtain here. Body curtain here. Always half inch from the... Uh, from the floor, body curtain here, and inner curtain here, inner curtain. Usually, sa mga inner curtain natin, we use only white, beige, or uh, light brown. Madalang lang tayong gumamit ng light brown on this area. Lagi tayo, especially sa mga function hall, I highly recommend na white lang ang gamitin natin. Linen para bagsak na bagsak siya. Tapos medyo masiring para mas maganda. Para mas bongo. Okay? This project uh, was done, I think, somewhere in March 2019. And this area turns to this. Okay? Sino magsasabing hindi ito talaga window? 
Okay, so masyado naman ako excited, di ba? So nagprint ako na ang finished product natin, which is ipapakita din namin sa inyo yung lahat ng mga photos. This window is this window. This window is this window. And then the four treatment, the four window treatment here, imaginary window are this area. Okay? So, di ba, mas maganda siya tignan ngayon. Namukha na talaga siyang function hall because of this window treatment. Nagkaroon ng balanse. On interior decorating, always dapat balanse. So, kailangan na lang natin dito, table, table, table. Magpa-picture ka dito, picture perfect. Magpa-picture ka dito, picture perfect, di ba? Unlike before, na wall lang siya. Okay? Enjoy our RML Enterprises Throwback Thursday Episode 2 turns into tutorial and lecture. But of course, I know, nag-enjoy kayo at nagustuhan nyo ang ating interior decorating. It's in Wellas uh, Function Hall in uh, San Antonio, Nueva Ecija. If you like, just uh, press the thumbs up or if you're not yet Subscribe in my YouTube channel. Please subscribe para na-update kayo kapag may mga bago tayong video. Till next time, bye-bye!